what you see here is desperation. Thousands and thousands of people desperate to earn a living, to find a way to make enough income to support themselves and their families. They're lashing back at Wall Street because of the perception of wealth, the largesse of a government trying to step in and save, and I can't say this in any better way, a lot of dummies that made some very dumb decisions, okay? Loaning money to people they shouldn't have, financing real estate that was worthless. The list goes on and on and on and on. There's a better fix, and I, I'm indirectly part of this institution. I trade for a living. And I'm here to look at the faces of the people and read the moods. And it's ironic that I'm standing next to a man with a camera. And let's hope that the man with the camera knows how to use YouTube. Because here's the message. Wall Street's really not the problem. The core issue is the way we tax ourselves. And I want to urge you guys and ladies to go back and take a look at Henry Ford's story. When he started his company, there was no income tax, no employment taxes, and no state taxes. He paid a wage of $5 a day, which at the time was the highest living wage of any workers in the world. Today, that equivalent wage is based on the value of gold, $2,500 a, a week. So imagine living on $2,500 a week and you don't pay any taxes. Now, let's take another journey, a more cosmic one. A Christian saying, tablet from the mountain, whatever you want to call it. Give 10% of the harvest unto the Lord. That was not about churches. That was cosmic taxation advice. So folks, imagine this day. You don't pay any state tax. You don't pay any federal taxes. You don't pay county taxes. You don't pay city taxes. The only taxes you pay are based on consumption. And guess what? When Warren Buffett buys a $20 billion company, he pays a 10% consumption tax. Now, where does it go? It flows to one entity who collects it, gives it back to the states based on population, and keeps 10% for the constitutional objectives. Protect, preserve, and you know what, folks? If you do the math, we could have free education, free health care, and a completely different society. Don't they have that in Europe, and they call it VAT, uh, value-added tax? And in Italy, it's called EVA, and it's 19%. Thanks for the voiceover. I hope it fits. Yeah, is it going to be part of this? Yeah. Excellent. You're not describing the same phenomenon. A VAT tax is in addition to other forms of taxation. 10% of the harvest unto the Lord. The harvest is consumption. The Lord is the guy holding the camera, and the camera's pointing at another version of the Lord. Now, please, pan this street. That's the rest of the Lord. The world's churches assumed it was to start a church. Wrong. It's cosmic taxation advice. One tax, consumption. All levels of the all, all levels of the economy. 